Ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing? Since last you, uh, you met us, we have had a 3-1 defeat to Arsenal and then three wins on the bounce. 3-0 against, Nor against Norwich. A lovely 1-0 victory against QPR in the FA Cup fourth round with a heavily rotated team and a 2-1 win against Villa. But before we go any further, if you're new here, welcome in for the first time. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you haven't yet, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Helps the channel more than you know. Also, give the video a thumbs up. Also helps get this video in front of more people. And if you want to be notified when new videos go live, make sure you ring that bell as well. Also, leave a comment down below. Give, you, give me your review of how our season's gone so far. Uh, personally, I think it's gone absolutely fantastic. But this January has been absolutely mental for fixture congestion. We've pretty much had a game every two to four days. And my team is suffering because of it. Like, we are so tired. Uh, but we are about to jump into a game away to Leeds with a sort of heavily, not really heavily rotated, but slightly rotated squad. Let's have a look at the lineup that we've got here. So we've got Montero starting off for us in goal as normal. Uh, Luke Thomas starting on left back here. Uh, but then the rest of the back line is, as you know, it Segovia, Kabak, and Niambe. We do have. Uh, Sambo, uh, one of our new signings, as right back there. Uh, and Adrelson as cover to come on uh, if these guys get tired. Uh, then the two centre mids, Jorginho. We signed him in the last episode, if you remember, and he wasn't ready to play for the cup because he was cup tied. Uh, and then Harper playing the Metzala role because Evander has moved into the attacking midfield role. He's looking a bit worse for wear as well. But hopefully he'll be able to last this game. And our, one of our other new signings, Paulinho, We'll be able to come and step back in once uh, once this game is done. Uh, Talis Magno and La Quintana on the wings as normal. And then Jonas Wynn still starting up front. But as you can see, we've got a lot of lows here. A lot of injury chances. Uh, Bradley Dax already injured. Um, but yeah, let's crack on and get into this Leeds game, shall we? I want to... Uh, it's it's an another War of the Roses, isn't it? So let's go and get uh, get this War of the Roses started. What do I expect ahead? We've prepared and I think we're well set for a result, for sure. How important has the strong sp team spirit been? Winning breeds confidence. Uh, I don't think that one loss can destroy our confidence either. Nice short press conference. And nobody disliked what I was saying, which is cool. Normally I've got people disliking what I'm saying. We've got a few days until the transfer window closes as well. We're not really planning on bringing anyone else in. We're signing some pre-contract deals for people in the summer. So at the end of this episode, I will go through our transfer activity uh, during January and show you who we've sold, who we've loaned out, uh, and who we have signed. Uh, some big improvements made to the squad, I think. We almost got Lucas Mora in as well, but we didn't quite have the money. The choice was between signing Lucas Mora and signing Paulinho. And Paulinho is 22, so still, still scope to improve. Uh, we've got an under-18s fixture clash, as is to be expected. People trying to sign a young fella from Valencia. Come on, let's get us into this game. Also realised recently, folks, that I haven't been drinking enough water, so I've been filling up my big one-litre bottle again, which this, is, this isn't green, but the light shining off it, for some reason, makes my webcam think it's green. But remember, stay hydrated, drink lots of water. Good for your body, good for your mind. And I'm crap at drinking water myself, so I'm trying to trying to stay on top of that. Flipping heck, Xiao Felix moved to Man City for 145 mil. Uh, da, da, da. There's Sambo for us, 8.75 mil signing. Gineppo going to Stuttgart for 6 mil is pretty mental as well. I would have done that. So here's one of the guys that we're looking to sign, Goebbels. Not that Goebbels before you go too far. It's Willem Goebbels. He is a French young striker. 21. Already worth 1.1 mil. We'll be getting him for free. Uh, 86 rated by the scouts. And a uh, 4.5 star potential. So not quite as good as Jack uh, Jack Vale or Talis Magno. Uh, in either of those positions. But hopefully he'll develop well for us. And we can at least make some money on him. We're getting him for free anyway. And we're loaning out Machucha. Let's get him some regular first team experience. And hopefully he'll come back an absolute world beater of a centre back for oh pardon me world beater of a centre back for us. There's plenty we want to do here though, plenty we want to do next season, especially if we're going to secure European football like I uh, 
like it looks like we are. I mean, I know we're we're not even halfway through the season yet, but we've uh, we're sitting in fifth place. We overtook Manchester United with a win in our last game. It was our our game in hand. In fact, I'll show you the Premier League table uh, once this continues finished because I didn't do that right at the beginning. But let's see how we're sat at the moment. We we're almost certainly away from any thought of a relegation battle. We would have to lose almost every game remaining. So let's have a quick little look here at the Premier League table. We sit in fifth on 34 points after 18 games. Uh, so we are, we are about halfway through the season, I guess. Nearly. I'm trying to work it out now. Yeah, one more game and we're halfway through. So this game that we're playing is the halfway point of the season for us. We're sat in fifth on 34 points. We can potentially go and equal Man City's points with this game. Uh, they do have a game in hand on us, though, as the Liverpool. Uh, and we actually have three games in hand on Norwich and Bournemouth. Two games in hand on Birmingham and Leicester. So I don't know how this has happened. It's probably the World Cup, right? Almost certainly the World Cup uh, made all this happen. But it's the Manchester derby as well, United versus City. So if United beat City... And I beat Leeds. I go tied on points with City, which will be nice. We could almost force our way into the top four. Uh, let's set them for 60 minutes. Let them go and do what they need to do. Uh, oh, Wesley Dent, the recruitment analyst, is gone. So we need to improve our coaching team. Uh, so quickly before we get into this game then, let's do that. Uh, so staff, is there a staff search? Yes, there is. Let's do a new search for staff role, coaching, coach. Okay. Uh, and let's see. We want an absolute worldie of a coach. So I don't want to do it from judging player ability or adaptability. So let's have a look at view, uh, coaching attributes. Let's see. So this guy looks pretty solid from Preston, David Adams. Very sort of middle of the road though, isn't he? There's a few. Oh, this guy looks amazing. Free agent. Would rather be a director of football. But I could bring him in as a coach. And I think he'd do a great job for us as a defensive coach. So uh, let's approach to sign him. He's a full-time coach. Let's get him on four years if we're paying him this much money. Uh, and let's see if we've got any other absolute worldies in this list. This guy's got good mentals. What's this guy's fitness at? Not great. He's got one fitness and he's a fitness coach. How mental is that? He's a fitness coach with one fitness. No wonder you've not got a job, mate. Uh, this guy is a fit and fitness and mentals. He's an assistant manager, though. Hmm. Got Neil Banfield to be a decent uh, attacking coach or technical coach or youth coach. He's a head of. Uh, you no, know, he's just a coach, so we'll offer him a contract as well and see what he wants. Let's go for four years again. Suggest those terms. And sweet. That, that'll be it for our improvement of the coaching things. We've just made a promise to our keeper, Montero, to improve the coaching team. So hopefully. Those guys will, uh, will do it if they accept. But let's get into this game, shall we? Too many continues in the one day. Leeds are only two places behind us in the league. They've had a good, a good start to the season themselves, a good first half. Hopefully, though, we can keep this run that we're on up. Ah, work permit turned down. Fine. We'll wait for the next one. Right, here we go. It is game time. Let's get those opposition instructions done. We're not going to use tighter marking. Team selection, though, we've already been through the team. Let's have a look at the rest of these. So we will always close down Iosi Perez. We'll always close down Rafina, and there as well. Close down and weaker foot for everyone in the attacking roles there. Uh, we want to close down Dallas always and show him onto his weaker foot. And we also want to close down William and show him onto his weaker foot. And we're already closing down Messlier. Fantastic. So let's go with this and see how we do. We've got a few of our first teamers that we've replaced on the bench, but kind of reticent to bring them on because 
we we kind of need them rested for for the games that we've got coming up. Uh, and let's just say, uh, yeah, show us what you can do to keep this run going. I'll go with what the assistant says. Uh, everyone's enjoying coming to work. Fifth after a good recent run. Does that help? Want to keep this going? There we go. After being interviewed in the tunnel, let's see how this game goes. Now let's just quickly pop us back onto extended highlights because we know we like to see what's going on even when there's no goals coming out of this. And so far, it looks like a pretty dominant start from Blackburn Rovers here. We get the first shot on target as well. And now we've got Niambe with a free kick for us. Finds Jorginho. And it's back with Niambe again. Sort of a slow start here as Kabak, Niambe and Jorginho combining before finally finding La Quintana, who starts some positive movement infield, trying to look for a way forward and finds a pass to Wind, who plays it to Harper. And now Telus Magno... Oh, he was open to run into the box there, but the Leeds defence got a foot in. And now Thomas is going to take a throw here. Finds Evander. Harper now with a sweeping pass out towards La Quintana, but Masuba's there. Finds Pacheco, or Pacheo, however you say that. Back out to Masuba. Or Masaba, rather. Winks plays one in to Iosi Perez, and it is blocked. And then Rakeem Harper can end up clearing. Again, still a positive start. We're definitely in the ascendancy here. More possession, more shots, more shots on target. Uh, more corners, less fouls. And here we are now with Niambe taking a throw and finding La Quintana, who nods it on to Jonas Wind, who taps it in at the near post for his 10th goal of the season. And Blackburn Rovers take a deserved lead five minutes before the break. Let's see if we can keep this run going. The Leeds defenders there make an absolute mess of that. So Meslier comes to claim, but can't get there before wind. Great goal to start the day off. La Quintana and Telus Magno already starting to look a bit tired here. But half time, 1-0 to Blackburn Rovers. Let's get ourselves into that dressing room and give the fans something to cheer. Jorginho liked that. And we don't really want to take anyone off. Maybe Telus Magno. Telus Magno's not playing great. And he's, he's definitely a little bit tired. So I think we're going to bring Jack Vale on for him. Yeah, Jack Vale on for Talis Magno works for me. Um, and I think that'll, that'll be it for half time. And let's get this second half started. As Leeds kick it off. Go all the way back to Meslier, who's going to try and build something from the back. Very direct play here from, from Leeds, trying to find Iosi Perez, and they do. And he finds Rafina. They're going wide now to William. The right back tries to deliver, but it cannons off the legs of, is that Luke Thomas? And goes out for a throw, which nothing comes of it. And here we are with a Blackburn Rovers corner. Evander about to swing this in here. Looking for the header, Jack Vale. He didn't jump for it though, and it rattled around in the box there. Before Ozan Kabak eventually threw it over the bar. Like Jorginho and La Quintana are going to have to come off in a minute as Rafina. Swings in a free kick for Leeds. Niambe gets a crucial block in there, though. And then plays a ball forward to Jonas Wind, who's only got two defenders in front of him. William does a great job of getting across and dispossessing him. Uh, let's give the boys an encouraging shout, which they didn't like, as Rafina now swings another free kick in from deep. It's headed clear, and Jonas Wind is going to pick this up and find Rakeem Harper. Rakeem Harper and Wind now breaking, and Wind now has just open grass in front of him as he works his way into the box. Takes a shot, and Meslier... Gets a touch to it and turns it around the post. Another corner now for Blackburn Rovers. That Luke Thomas is going to look to deliver. And it's headed out by Gatoni. Now Meslier with the goal kick there. Finds the head of Roberts. Back to Struich. Oh, and La Quintana nips in there and dispossesses. And it's Jonas Wind again. But Meslier holds that well. And now Rafina with a free kick for Leeds. Shot on target, on goal, and it is one all, ladies and gentlemen. This is where we make our changes now. So La Quintana, we don't really have anyone who can play that role. So I think we're going to have to take him off for Adam Armstrong and then move Evander out there. Um, and the other person we need to take off, I think, is Jorginho. But Jorginho is having a cracking game. So how's Kabak looking? Kabak's having a good game as well. So you know what, we're going to leave it at that for now. Confirm those changes. As Niambe now looking to deliver into the box. But Kenny makes a good sliding challenge and it goes out of, out of play for a throw. Now we're also 
going to go slightly higher tempo. Uh, okay, and we'll let that happen. And we're also going to go attacking. We need to get the win here. I mean, a draw isn't terrible, but yeah, Rudy's coming on for Jorginho. That was one of the changes I was going to make. Now we're all out of subs. Niambe's looking a bit tired as well as William takes a throw here and finds Rafina. Beautiful free kick to equalize there. And Adam Armstrong ends up heading clear, but only as far as Harry winks. We find Dallas who tried to feed Kenny, but there's a good interception made there. But the clearance by Rovers is not a good one and Leeds can come again as Struwich finds Dallas. Played out towards Roberts here on the left-hand side. Niambe dispossesses brilliantly though and now Evander can break down the right-hand side for Blackburn Rovers. Kenny gets back again and makes a good sliding challenge. Fantastic in the, in the defensive areas has Kenny been. As Meslier there. Almost misplaces his clearance there to Rafina, but Rafina plays it up looking for Bamford, finds him, who threads through Iosi Perez. But he was offside. Ooh, I was going to say, we've just gone down 2-1. Come on, VAR. Do as well. Goal disallowed. Woo. We don't want to start a losing streak here, do we, ladies and gents? As Luke Thomas now looking to deliver a free kick from deep. Finds Jonas Wind, and he shoots just wide. He was offside anyway, though. The flag was up, at least. And here we go. It's got to be the last action of the game as William finds Rafina, but Thomas dispossesses him. Long ball forward towards Wind, who nods it down to Armstrong, and the final whistle is blown as Armstrong's trying to break. And that's a one-all draw, ladies and gentlemen. We've got another ball draw in the War of the Roses. Now, I believe last time we played, it was a nil-nil draw, if I'm remembering rightly. But a draw is not the end of the world here. It is not a loss. We've, de we've definitely shrunk the number of losses we've had from last season. Uh, it was particularly impressive. What did you make of it? Um, there was more than a hint of good fortune about it, let's say. It was a, it was a beautiful free kick, but I don't want to let them know that. We still sit in fifth place. City ended up beating United. Uh, so, yeah, we are now five points behind fourth place. And our chances of a Champions League place are getting slimmer and slimmer and slimmer. But Arsenal are running away with the title here. 12 points clear of second place Chelsea at the moment with two games extra played, I should add, which means if Chelsea win both of those games in hand, um, then they will be six points off them. Uh, Liverpool have four games in hand. So if Liverpool win all of those, they'll only be a point behind Arsenal. So still all to play for in that title race there. Uh, the top four are all relatively close given uh, the number of games played here. This should be an exciting end to the season. We still have to play a lot of the big boys at least once. So it could be tough for us. And let's see, Vale is set for a pay increase. Uh, if he makes one more appearance, his wages will go up to 15 grand a week. A scriber was there checking on the progress of Luke Thomas, who we've loaned. And we've got our post-match press conference. Let's attend that and see what's going on here. Was it unfortunate to come up against Rafina in that sort of form? I thought he was decent, sure. Used a staggering 29 players so far, the highest in the Premier League. Can you explain why that figure is so high? Uh, regular rotation. That's why. Regular rotation. Don't want my players to get too tired. And let's see. We finished scouting Roney, who's 65. Winger. Uh, he's not really going to get any better, but we'll acknowledge that anyway. It's a 2.7 mil cost for a middle-of-the-road winger. I mean, he's, he's not terrible. He's got decent dribbling, meh, crossing. He's definitely quick. But yeah, not, not someone we need right now. Let's see what the reaction to that press conference was anyhow. Uh, Rafina didn't like it, and Adrelson didn't like it either. Uh, so Adrelson must be a fan of Rafina. But well, that's fine. Uh, they're disappointed with my comments and Rafina was confused by my comments. But let's have a look at the schedule and see what we've got coming up. So we've got a game against Southampton. Then we've got Newcastle and West Brom before the harder games start where we have Liverpool, Burnley and Wolves. So our February is really busy as well. Uh, our March is a little bit calmer. April really busy. And then May, not too bad. But our, our final day of the season is against City. So we do have some tough games coming up. We've got 
two games against Man United within a month of each other, just over a month of each other, uh, as our first game against them was rescheduled. Uh, but yeah, so we've just seen our one-all draw to Leeds. Let's see what our last game against Leeds was. It was a nil-nil draw, yeah, so at least we scored in this one. Uh, and we we're going to face Southampton, Newcastle, and West Brom. Uh, in fact, we'll probably play all the way up to the Wolves game. Our next televised game will be the next game you see on the channel. So join us in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, to see us take on Wolves. And don't forget, uh, do hit that subscribe button, do hit that like button, and do leave us a comment. And also check the Twitter out in the description as well. And as always, I've been Deej. You guys have been awesome, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Woo!